All new tonight, the toxic plume from the Tijuana River can be seen from outer space. This is a NASA satellite image that shows sewage flowing off of the South Imperial Beach area and spreading into the Pacific Ocean. According to the agency, their advanced imaging technology aboard the International Space Station also detected harmful bacteria that poses health risks to humans and animals. Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre called the crisis a flashing red light. I talked to the mayor earlier tonight about what she wants to see happen next. Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre, thank you for joining us, for making time for us tonight. Thank you for having me. I uh, wanted to talk about NASA releasing images very recently taken from space by a device that was made by Jet Propulsion Laboratories that actually shows a plume of dangerous bacteria in the water off our coast. What was your reaction when you saw those images? Well, I'm glad that now it's visible in space. It's something that we know is affecting us. We know it's there. It's a constant presence in our daily lives. The fact that it's now visible from space just confirms what I, we've been saying for so long, that this is a tragic environmental and public health disaster that no other community, not just in the United States, but in the Western Hemisphere, is dealing with. We know it's the most polluted beach in America. We know it's one of the top 10 most polluted rivers in the entire nation, and now it's visible from space. So the urgency cannot be overstated of how we need action now. And there's specific actions that we could take that could start addressing some of the really bad impacts that our communities are suffering. So how can information gathered by a photo like this, this NASA technology, how can that help San Diego dealing with this crisis? Well, in the sense that now we know that this plume is not just making its way to Imperial Beach and Coronado's coast, but it's making its way well beyond that. In fact, it has a potential to impact all the way to La Jolla, and not just through coastal waters, but also through our air. Uh, all of these uh, pollutants, like you mentioned, bacteria, but it's not just bacteria. It's viruses, parasites, PFAS, also dangerous carcinogenic chemicals that are being aerosolized and traveling very long distances. So the urgency cannot be overstated. It's why I've submitted to the county a five-point action plan, which has very specific actions that we could take today to begin minimizing the aerosolization of all of these toxic gases, like removing the toxic hotspot that's located uh, maybe just a mile east of the point of entry of the river. So that is something that we could take action right now. The county hasn't invested on, on this issue, even though we know, yes, it's a federal issue, yes, it's a state issue, but the county should be attending and addressing this as well. They've only invested 0.02% of their budget, an $8.6 billion budget, by the way, into addressing the sewage crisis, and we say no more. The county is the Health and Human Services Agency for the entire county, and we need to make sure that they put some skin in the game, and that's through a five-point plan that I've presented. All right, so we have that new information to help in that fight. Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre, thank you for your time and sh sh working with us, uh, looking through these incredible images from NASA, illuminating this problem we've been dealing with for decades here in San Diego.